Hi guys, welcome to the second video on receptors. So in our previous video we were looking at the passing and corpuscle. Now we will be looking at the um, uh, photoreceptors. So the receptors working together in an eye and the receptors respond only of course to the one type of the stimulus and it also responds to a certain intensity of that stimulus. So body must have a range of receptors, each responding to the different intensity of stimulus. Hence in your eye, uh, the light receptors uh, are, uh, are two. So two types of the eye receptors, so we've got the rod and cone cells. So the light receptors cells found are, uh, that are found on the retina, and this is what we've got retina. And uh, they act as transducers. What's the job of them? The job of them is to convert the light energy into electrical energy of a nerve impulse. So uh, there is a difference between the rod and cone cells. The main difference comes from the fact the rod cells, the three of the rod cells, attach to the one bipolar neuron cell, while the cone cells, there is a one cone cell attached to one bipolar neuron cell. So the main differences between those is, of course, the shape. So the rod cells are rod-shaped, cones cone-shaped. In terms of the numbers, we've got many rod cells, less cone cells. There are presence in the fovea, so uh, that's cone cells. Rod cells are not present there. Distribution, okay, periphery of retina for the rod cells. Cone cells, they are in fovea. Visual acuity, so poor for rod cells because they only allow you to see in black and white. And cone cells allow you to see in colors, so good. Sensitivity, rods are sensitive to low light intensity. Cones, they are sensitive to higher light intensity. Types, rod cells, we've got only one types. One type in cones, we've got three types, red, blue, green, hence we can see in color. Pigments, so uh, in rods we've got rhydopsin, in cones idopsin, acuity, low for rods and high for cones, attachment to the bipolar neuron cells, what we've mentioned, rods, three of them are attached to one bipolar neuron cells, con one to one. And retinal converges, yes, in the rod cells because of three being attached to one and not in con cells. So let's have a quick... Uh, Checkpoint here, pigments it rot cells, it's called rhydopsin, correct. Rhydopsin is never broken down, false. Energy from high intensity light is used to break down uh, rhydopsin, false, we need the low light intensity. And rot cells respond to high light intensity, that's false, they respond to low light intensity. Another checkpoint. So pigments in a cone cells, it's called idopsin, correct. There are four different types of cone cells. That's false, there are three. Each cone cell has its own bipolar cell connected to a sensory neuron, that's correct. And cone cells respond to highlight intensity, which is correct. So let's have a look at the questions, okay? So explain why it takes time for the rod cells to recover their sensitivity to light after moving into darkness. Okay, so what needs to happen, obviously, from the light when we see everything in color, this is when our consoles were working. Now we're going into the uh, darkness where the rod cells will be uh, affected mostly. So the pigment that works here has to be broken down to allow us to see. So rhydopsin is bleached, broken down by this light, and it's time for recent, recent tests. So we've got to use the information in figure one and two and explain the difference in sensitivity of rod cells to red and green light. Okay, so what we can see here, the maximum intensity, okay, so that's for red, the highest, white, green, lower, but the amount of light absorbed as well, it's different here for different, uh, uh, different colors. So what we can predict is that a rhydopsin, okay, because talking still about the uh, rod cells, 
uh, will, uh, will absorb a uh, green light more than a red okay as we can see here so the resynthesis is less intense green light needed to be broken down by rhydopsy and suggest an explanation for the difference in sensitivity of rot cells to the white and the green spots after 30 minutes so in here okay the white has high proportion of wavelengths to which rhydopsin obviously it's not sensitive so it's not going to respond and the final typical question uh, it says you that there is no image produced okay at point y okay and as you can see here what's missing we don't have any rot uh, any photos receptors any consoles or any rot cells because this gap here at the point y it's completely empty we don't have any lines for cons or rots and the final one then image form at x so this is the uh, x uh, which uh, responds to uh, consoles uh, it's uh, seen in more detail than the one in Z rot cells so now we're thinking about the table of the differences and we need to select some of those ideas so X has many uh, 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 rot cells uh, only only consoles okay more consoles than z then and which uh, with each synapse uh, to a single neuron because we know that consoles one is attached to the other one hence no retinal converges right so that's everything for the uh, receptors in the, in the eye see you later